After decades of talk and with our infrastructure still in peril, this spring, President Biden proposed a gigantic spending bill that radically redefined the term beyond bridges and roads. You're looking at one of the most important infrastructure projects in the city of Los Angeles, and uh, from 40 feet up, it occurred to me that if you're scared of heights working in uh, construction, this type of infrastructure project, might not be for you. As amazing as all this is, traditional infrastructure like this bridge only accounts for about 5% of the spending. 95% left for everything else. That everything else includes 21st century improvements you might not expect, like high-speed internet connections and charging stations for electric cars. But it also includes creating millions of good-paying jobs and combating systemic racism. That's because traditional infrastructure hasn't always helped everyone, especially those living in its shadows, as some worry about this new bridge in Los Angeles. This is going to be an iconic bridge. City engineer Gary Lee Moore invited us here to the top of LA's new 6th Street Viaduct, which cost more than half a billion dollars and was paid for before President Biden proposed his plan. The bridge will connect the upscale arts district in downtown LA with a working class and largely Latino neighborhood called Boyle Heights, already under pressure from gentrification. High up on the bridge, we met Carlos, an iron worker. You guys make a good living? Uh, yeah, we do, we do. I grew up down the street and- uh, Where at? Boyle Heights. In Boyle Heights? Boyle Heights. You still live here or no? Oh no, I live 78 miles from here. Again. How come? Uh, cheaper rent. Cheaper rent? Yeah, cheaper rent, of course. Carlos isn't the only one getting squeezed by development, according to realtor David Silvas, who sits on a local neighborhood council. This community, the idea that you might see a bunch of condos or high-priced rental units go up, who's going to live in them? Is it the people that are already living in this community? Most likely not, no. That's because new market rate housing would cost people who live here more than half of what they make in a year. And when that bridge opens, the situation gets more dire? Yes, 100%. 100% more dire because this whole region, if not this pocket of Boyle Heights, will be on the map for becoming ripe for development. Here in Boyle Heights, protests against development are common. We met these residents who are protesting a Verizon cell tower being built in a community garden, which the company says is being preserved. I met a guy working on the bridge. He makes a good salary, and he says... He can't afford to live here anymore. Exactly. We're definitely seeing uh, an unfair amount of development. Displacement of communities, displacement of neighbors. People cannot afford living in Boyle Heights anymore. It's getting too expensive. It's way too expensive. I mean, that's the story across so much of this country, right? Way, way too expensive. You know, the Biden administration has said that the plan is going to mitigate fallout from infrastructure by focusing on things like climate change, affordable housing, job retraining. But as we saw, that's not enough to overcome distrust in communities across the country, like the one at the very end of that bridge in L.A. Great people, yeah. but they're dealing with challenges there. Yeah, the gentrification is so, unfortunately, become so commonplace. You mentioned affordable housing. Right. How, how would that help? in some of these communities. Well, you heard it from David there, the realtor, who says basically affordable housing is no longer really affordable for right. people that live in the communities. And then you talk to Carlos, who works up on the bridge there, 40 feet up above the freeway, and he says, I used to live in this community, now I commute 150 miles round trip every oh, single day goodness. just to get here to work on this project. So. It is a challenge that they got to figure out. Wow. Yeah. It's an excellent series, and you can see more Thanks. of Jacob's reporting on infrastructure in the series called Street Level USA. It's streaming this Friday night on Peacock and airing Sunday at 10 p.m. Can we can we talk? Can we bring up the full screen again? And talk about look how look how look how bad he looks in that picture. Uh, look, you know, you know what looks tits, bad? Buddy. You know what looks bad? My hair. I needed oh. a haircut in that picture. I would watch that movie. I would watch that movie. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.